The good Lord looked down and saw me lonely and loveless. And he thought to himself, enough is enough. I'm putting Sarah in Cole House's life. And he did. This wasn't a woman. This was an angel, a gift from God. Coldhouse loved this woman, but not too wisely and not too well. She left him without a word or a trace. There was no pity for me. Now she is haunting me just like a melody. Now every song I seem to know. Sarah, my life has changed. Sarah, I miss you so. Sarah, I did you wrong. Sarah, where did you go? And then this morning, the miracle happened. I found out where she is, and I'm gonna do my damnedest to see that she takes me back. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the getting ready rag. Good day, gentlemen. I'm looking for Broadview Avenue and New Rochelle. This ain't it. This is the Emerald Isle Volunteer Firehouse, and this is a private road, nigger. Try turning that car around and going back where you came from. I can see that I shall not receive the courtesy of an answer from you gentlemen. Good day. Yes? I'm looking for a young woman of color whose name is Sarah. She's said to reside in one of these houses. She's here. She's living in our attic. Will you tell her please that Mr. Coldhouse Walker Jr. wishes to speak with her? Certainly. Please wait there. Edgar? This is Sarah's baby. You want a cookie? Sarah, you have a caller, a Mr. Walker. Will you come down to the kitchen? No, ma'am. Send him away, please. Well, that's the most you've spoken since you've been here. Sarah is unable to see you. Good day. Thank you, ma'am. Tell her I'll come back next Sunday. I'm sorry, Mr. Walker. Sarah still will not receive you. Will you see that she gets these flowers, ma'am? Mr. Walker, it must be a long drive for you. Perhaps you would like a cup of tea before you go? I'm a professional pianist, ma'am. I'm now with the Jim Europe Clef Club Orchestra. They're quite well known. It's important for a musician to find a place that is permanent, a job that requires no traveling. I'm through with traveling. I'm through with going on the road. Won't you play something for us, Mr. Walker? Do you know any coon songs? Coon songs are for minstrel shows. White men sing them in black face. This is called ragtime. You've been polishing that car so hard, there ain't gonna be anything left for us to ride home in. You laugh, but you wait, you'll see. This is no ordinary car. This car is gonna take us to a better place, a better time. Who have you been talking to, Cole House? No one. But I've been reading the words of Mr. Booker T. Washington. He's a great man, Sarah. I think you're a great man, Cole House. Not like that, Sarah. Not like that. Harvard University awarded him a degree. Imagine that. Imagine what this child's life could be. I see his face. I hear his heartbeat. 
I look in those eyes, how wise they seem. Well, when he is old enough, I will show him America, and he will ride on the wheels of a dream. Then we'll travel on from there, California or who knows where, and we will ride on the wheels of a dream. Yes, the wheels are turning for us, girl, and the time is starting to roll. Any man can get where he wants to, if he's got some fire in his soul. We'll see justice, Sarah, and plenty of men who will stand up and give us our due. Sarah, it must be true, a country that lets a man like me own a car, raise a child, build a life with you. Just as a fool as his heart can go, and he will ride, our son will ride, on the wheels of a dream. Sarah, get out of the car. Go down the road and wait. I'm not going to leave you. Do it, Sarah. Stubborn, righteous man. Let me pass. Gladly. That'll be $25. This is the private toll road. Since when? Since some highfalutin nigga and his whore and his whore's baby thought they could drive their goddamn car there's any place they please. That's since when? Running away, nigga? I'm going to find a policeman. If anyone touches my car before I return, he will answer to Cole House. Tell him Fire Chief Will Conklin sends his regards. We must exhibit patience, self-control, forbearance, and dwell above hatred and acts of cruelty. Cole House found a policeman, but he refused to help. When he returned to his car, the Model T had been spattered with mud. There was a 20-inch tear in the custom pantaso top. The tires had been slashed and all the windows broken. Deposited on the seat was a fresh mound of human excrement. Extra! Terror stalks New Rochelle. Murderous demands revealed. One, that my car be returned to me in its original state. Two, that the white excrescence known as Fire Chief Will Cochlin, the one who instigated this crime, be turned over to me for my justice. Nothing less, nothing more. Until my demands are met, I will continue to burn down firehouses. I will destroy the entire city if need be. Let the rules of war prevail. 
Cole House Walker Jr., president of the Provisional American Government. With guns and dynamite, you are destroying everything I have fought for, sir. Despite the respect I have for you, Mr. Washington, you have come in vain. Had you been ignorant of the tragic struggle of our people, I could have pitied you this adventure, but you are a trained musician, an educated man. It is true, sir, but I hope this might suggest to you the solemn calculation of my mind. We are both men of color who insist on the truth of our manhood and the respect it demands. Your situation is hopeless. You will be responsible for the deaths of these young men. Don't listen to him, Cole House. They're using him to get to you. We're not giving up. Are you ready? We're not going. You've lost, Cole House. We've all lost. I don't believe that. Go out and tell our story. Let it echo far and wide. Make them hear you. Make them hear you. How justice was our battle, and how justice was denied. Make them hear you. Make them hear you. And say to those who blame us for the way we chose to fight That sometimes there are battles that are more than black or white And I could not put down my sword when justice was my right Make them hear you Go out and tell our story to your daughters and your sons Make them hear you Make them hear you And tell them in our struggle We were not the only ones Make them hear you Make them hear you Your sword can be a sermon Or the power of the pen Teach every child to raise his voice And then my brothers then Well Justice be demanded by ten million righteous men. Make them hear you when they hear.